Dear students, in these slides, we are going to discuss the one-dimensional traveling wave. To describe the shape and movement of waves, we use wave equation. A wave equation is actually a partial differential equation that describes the shape and movement of waves. To understand one-dimensional traveling waves, let's consider a wave pulse traveling to the right with constant speed v. And you can see it in the figure. It is a string and there is a wave in the string. And it is a transverse means vertical displacement of the string, uh, which is actually medium here. And this is vertical displacement and is measured along the y-axis. And this figure represents the shape and position of pulse at time equal to zero. At this time, the shape of the pulse, whatever it may be, can be represented by a function of x. So y is the function of x, or we can say that is y, which is the vertical position of any point, on the string is some definite function of x and the displacement y is called the wave function depend on both x and t. Consider a particular point p on this string identified by a specific value of its x coordinate. Before the pulse arrives at p, the y coordinate of this point is 0. As the y coordinate of this point increases and touches the maximum point and then decreases to 0. Therefore, the wave function y represents the y coordinate of any point p of the medium at any time t. And when the wave travels with some speed v, the wave pulse travels to the right a distance, say, speed into time, and we write it vt. And if the shape of the pulse doesn't change with time, we can represent the wave function y for all times after time at zero. If the wave is traveling to the right and we take stationary reference from having its origin at zero, the wave function will be y equal to f of x minus vt. And if the wave pulse travel to the left, the string displacement will be y equal to f of x plus vt. We can see in these figures the pulse is traveling with speed v in figure a. When time is equal to 0, the shape of the pulse is given by y is equal to f of x. And after some time in figure b, when the time is equal to some t, the shape remains unchanged, but the vertical displacement of point p of the medium is given by y equal to f of x minus vt. For any given time t, the wave function y as a function of x define a curve represented in the shape of the pulse at this time and the curve is equivalent to a snapshot of the wave at this time. For a pulse that moves without changing shape, the speed of the pulse is the same as that of any feature along the pulse, such as the crust as you can see. To find the speed of the pulse, we can calculate how far the crest moves in a short time and then divide this distance by the time interval. To follow the motion of crest, we must substitute some particular value, say x0 in the equation for x minus vt, and we say x minus vt equal to x0. Now this expression is represent the equation of motion of the crust. And at time 0, the crust will be x equal to x naught. And after some time, when time change in gt, the crust moves and its distance will be x equal to x naught plus v dt. So the crust has moved to distance in this time change. So change in distance is dx equal to x naught plus v dt minus x naught. Here, x0 plus vdt is the current position of the crust and minus x0 is the old position of the crust. And the solving this equation, change in distance is equal to speed into change in time. So the wave speed is v equal to dx by dt. Now let's see an example. A wave pulse moving to the right along the x-axis is represented by the wave function. Here the x and y are measured in centimeters and t is in seconds. And we have to plot the wave function at time 0, 1 second and 2 seconds. 
If we go to the solution, we can see that this function is the form y equal to f of x minus e t. And by inspection, we see that the wave speed is 3 cm per second. At time 0, when we put x minus 3 t equal to 0, we got the maximum amplitude 2 cm. Then we got the waveform by plotting the wave function at time 0. Similarly, in one second, the wave moved forward 3 cm. And in this plot, wave moved forward 6 cm because time is 2 seconds here. Similarly, we can change the x at these times. We can evaluate y when x is equal to 0.5 cm and we will get the amplitude 1.6 cm. And we can also evaluate it at different values of x like x equal to 1 cm, x equal to 2 cm. After changing these, we can plot the new wave form.